In this video, we are going to compile the handlebars template using the handlebars.compile method, which means we are going to write the JavaScript that takes the template we created in the previous video, processes it through handlebars, and outputs it into our HTML. And along the way, we're going to explore the handlebars.compile method. The first thing I want to do is refactor something minor. I didn't intend to name the template character list container. Uh, it really should be character template as that makes more sense. So let's just change that real quick, character template. Now that we have that major refactor over, let's start compiling the template. Let's grab a reference to our templates HTML using jQuery. So inside of this document ready function, I am going to create a variable called character template. And that's simply going to be a reference to this ID, character template. So that's going to be our entire script. Um, but let's kind of narrow that down to just HTML. And uh, let's just kind of, you know, this is basic jQuery. And I know this course is a little bit beyond that. Let's just take a look at that real quick. You know, if, if we were to just type that in the console, you know, we get our entire, our script. Now, if we were to type in the same thing, but add the HTML, method to the end of it, we get a string of HTML. We don't get the script tag, we just get what's inside of it. And that's exactly what we want. So that's good. Step number two, let's take the handlebars template and run it through the handlebars compile process. So we'll create another variable. This one will be called compiled character template. And, and think of this step as taking the template we created and putting it on a conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt runs our template through a machine, the handlebars machine that prepares it for us. So we are going to call, we are going to reference handlebars.compile, which is a method. And we're going to put it on that, you know, this is the conveyor belt, so we are going to put our character template in that conveyor belt. And let's console.log this to see what it's doing. So, you know, this will kind of help us, you know, visualize it a little bit. So we'll pass that, that variable that we created into console.log. So when we refresh it, the console.log actually returns a function. What's key about this function is it takes two arguments, context and options. Now, the options are optional, so let's not worry about them now. But the context is really an object. And if we look at you know, what we're really trying to do is we're trying to substitute these tag variables with properties. So we need to know what is the context of name in order to know where to get it from our object. So what we need to really do is pass in an argument to compiled characters template that is the context. And it, it can really take any object. So just pass in any object and we'll give it a name equals rich. Now when we do that same console.log, we get our string of HTML. The difference is we actually get the value to the key name, which is rich. So you can see that by passing it some context, now handlebars are starting to process it, starting to process it and spit out the data that we're giving it. And we could take this a step further and we could say actor like we expect, the actor's name also is processed and spit out into this template. It would be kind of pointless to, to do what we're doing here, but just because you know we really want to drive the point home, let's just grab this object here and pass it in there. So we're passing that whole object in there. Now everything from this string should um, should output. So now we get the the character, the actor's name, the house, the whereabouts, and even the short code. So that's everything we need. So what's the best way instead of passing this object in here? You know, we already have that object up here. So what we could do is we could say cast dot characters zero, because that would be the first object in the characters array. And when we output that, 
we get exactly what we got before, but instead of uh, recreating the object, we are getting a reference to that object. Now, it does no use for us to just console.log it. Let's now output it into our character list container inside of this UL. So we'll do some jQuery to do that. Character list container dot HTML. And then we are going to pass it our variable compiled character template. And we are going to pass that variable. That variable really now is a function. And it takes an option, which is an object. So we can pass it the cast dot characters and then you know whichever one in that array we want so we'll do you know we can do two and we could see Brianna of Tarth is now output on the page so we were able to successfully load in a template of one character onto the page using handlebars in the next video we'll learn how we can loop over the object and show all of our characters using the each built-in helper